what's really bothering us is that all these ends. Yeah, <laughs> see the ends. Oop, we're just going to, uh, up to four and a half inches from the edge of this plate. And that's it. So lining it all up in a row. That's the left side. The brain loves that every time. Loves it. I'm Alzora Zarimba from the state of Washington. So the subject this week is poppies. We're doing uh, poppies, several different kinds of poppies. Icelandic poppies and some oriental poppies for some contrasting color. And we're going to put them in a crystal vase the easy way. <laughs> it looks very complicated when it's, when it's done, but it's a very simple process. China paint, you can wipe out a lot of hard, crisp, wonderful edges and you don't have to worry so much about uh, following the outline of anything. You can shove the paint around a lot. It's very nice. Over 30 years <laughs> I've been painting on China. And it really is my favorite medium because it'll, it allows for a lot of slop. It, you know, you can, you can move things around, you can shovel them around, you can wipe back through the paint, you can add more paint on top of paint. It's very, very forgiving. So you fire it in, then it's permanent. <laughs> then, but you can paint over that color, whatever it is you fired in, and then wipe back to the first one. It's very flexible. I like this paint medium. It's very, very nice. You can do some of these techniques with, uh, say, oil paint, but you have to wait for days and days for the previously uh, applied color to dry. This one. Fire it. Overnight, you're back in there again messing with it. With um, watercolor, you have to save all those light shapes. You have to plan ahead. You have to misc it out or something. Use something that's going to block the paint. It, it's a big pain in the rear. This is very free. Easy. <laughs> Compared to watercolor. So, and it all holds together better, too. Because you do it as a unit instead of just painting in one little triangular shape and another little five-sided shape and going with some sort of little skinny line here and there like they do in watercolor. We can be a lot freer with it and make it look real. It's that light and dark contrast.